Paul says that things we can see are temporary. The things we can't see are eternal. And you wonder, how do you see things that you can't see? It's almost like an oxymoron. It's like, it doesn't make sense. Scripture points out to us that our faith that has been given to us by God gives us the ability to see things that are unseen. Yeah. Our faith also gives us some substance for our hope that we have in eternal life in a future kingdom. People on the outside of faith don't understand. They can't see it. And therefore they live for what they know and what they can see. Thank God today that He has given you faith. Thank God today that He has given you hope. The Bible says that we're saved by grace, brother, through faith. And it very explicitly says that it is not of ourselves. That none of us can boast. Amen? That's what He's done in us. Amen? So thank God today. If you have faith, thank God. Because faith is the basis of the relationship with the Almighty God. If you need a relationship, you shouldn't say need, we all need. But if you want, desire a relationship with God, many people want to ask, how can I please God? Scripture plainly points out the only way you can please God is to have faith. That's it. No good works you can do, no great miracles you can work, nothing you can do but have faith. One man asked Jesus, said, what can I do to do the work of God? What can I do? What kind of work can I do? And he said the work of God is to believe in the Son. That's hard for us to understand. Because we don't have to work. And work is good. But we're working because He is good. And what He's done in us. Amen. Are God good? All the time. All the time.